So, the medic class. One of the most overpowered classes in the game, and some would say a necessity to actually play Battlefield 5. From being able to heal yourself basically non-stop, to having some of the best weapons in the game. Now, in this video I wanted to go over some of the weapons that you should be using. And there are quite a few of them. Now, I know I've gone over stuff like the ZK and stuff before. I wanted to highlight some other weapons while still also highlighting the ZK. Now, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you like this content. But before I ramble on even more, let's get into the weapons that you should be using on Battlefield 5. Now, so, to no surprise of what the first weapon is, it's the ZK383. This is probably the most versatile weapon that the medic class has to offer. It can both do close, mid, and if you even master it, long range. It probably out damages most SMGs up close, maybe bar the Type 2A Sawomi if you hit every single bullet. But in terms of, like I said, the versatility, the range, reload speed and fire rate, it is one that you should probably be using at all times with the Medic class. Now, this, these are the only specializations that I would recommend using. The other side of the tree makes it probably the worst SMG. So these are the ones that you should use. Now onto a gun that I previously mentioned about a couple of seconds ago, and that is the Sawomi. This gun actually probably is the fastest TTK weapon out of all of them, with the highest damage per bullet and probably the highest fire rate bar the Type 2A. But this gun at close quarters is extremely dangerous. It outguns mostly everything bar the overpowered shotguns that are in Battlefield 5, but it does lack some range with the random recoil, so it tends to only be good on maps like Operation Underground and Armage Encampment, with maybe a bit of devastation. So if you like close quarter engagements, you're a run and gun hard aggressive player, and you're always in the enemy's face, then the Sawomi is the SMG you probably should be using if you don't really enjoy the ZK. Now for the specializations, these are the ones that I would run. You can go the hip fire faster fire rate, but you will go back down to 20 bullets, which will make this gun hugely ineffective. And the recoil buffer on the last one just helps you control that random recoil a little bit better. Now onto the weapon I still don't see many people using even to this day, and that is the M3 grease gun. Now while it can be a hard gun to get used to considering it does have a slow bullet velocity and a slow fire rate, it does ex hit extremely hard, especially with headshots. The key to this is the suppressor, which makes the enemies have no idea where they're getting shot from and makes it a perfect duo for on flanks, especially on Operation Underground and just any map that you flank on. These are the specializations that are run, and the suppressor is the key one on this. You can basically run any setup on the grease gun as long as you have the suppressor, otherwise it's not that great. And lastly, we leave the most toxic gun till last, and while there are a lot of medic guns that aren't on my list that you can definitely run and make the most of, the Type 2A is the most toxic of them all. With the highest fire rate, 51 rounds, extremely good hip fire, relatively low recoil for how fast this gun fires, it can absolutely destroy, I would say close to mid-range, even once you master this weapon. The reason why I picked this under the ZK is because the ZK has light and stock, and just versatility-wise is a lot better. If you want to run the Type 2A and be as toxic as possible, these are the specializations that you should be running. It's extremely powerful, use it on Operation Underground, you'll only get outgunned by shotguns. Now, after hearing my list, is there any medic weapons you would recommend, or do you agree with this list wholeheartedly? But I'm planning on making a couple more BF5 videos in the future for Assault, Support, and maybe Recon, and also a Settings Guide. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, maybe these videos on screen will interest you. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.